Hi, I'm BJ Novak, and this is The Late Show's Propaganda. I have a bunch of props uh, arrayed in front of me, and I happen to know what they are used for, or what their histories are, and I'm going to explain them for you, the viewer. Uh, this is the late night talk show curse that was found under the theater, actually, of, uh, of The Tonight Show in Burbank that was uh, that caused Conan a lot of problems, and uh, someone had placed it here, Colbert's staff at the last second, before he took over, dug it up and um, did an exorcism on it of sorts, and, and that's why the show has gone so well ever since. So kind of a cool historical artifact there. This is actually a great historical item. This is a prototype. You know those toothpick things that has the floss in it? Because you know how toothpicks, they don't, they're, they don't do, they don't pick your teeth correctly. They're just for like looking cool in old timey movies. And now they have that floss thing going. This was the earliest version of this made in, um, you know, 2005, you'd expect them to be further along back then. But um, Stephen keeps this as a historical artifact to remind us all of scientific progress. This is not an artifact, I'm not gonna touch it. Nice try, Steve. This is actually uh, a really sad case. So Stephen, I know, used to be, before he made it in television, he was an exotic animal smuggler. And uh, he abandoned this bird in a suitcase coming back from China. Uh, in uh, I think 2001 and he just left it left it in the suitcase abandoned it and they found it six years later and they tracked it back to him but at that point the whole Hong Kong law uh, it was different government jurisdiction so he got away with it but I will never forgive you for what you did and this you know before the late show Stephen's pet project was a spin-off of the 90s sitcom Dinosaurs. You know that show with those horrifying animatronics? He loved it, he was the one, and he was hoping it would get a second season so he could run a spin-off uh, called just ancient animals that existed for real and still exist, which I thought was a terrible title. And uh, regardless, <laughs> he pitched this to the networks about how good a Christmas episode would be, and this was, this was in his pitch. And, um, and thank God they did not pick up that mess of an idea because now he's, uh, he's your favorite late night host. So I'm so glad they had me explain this stuff. I hope um, you're a little more educated about, about this great legacy of television that I get to be a part of tonight. Thank you for joining me on, what's this called? Propaganda. Propaganda.